What's good YouTube, Ben here. Welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm going to give you my next deck profile on Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. This is for Gate Guardian. Let's get into this. Hey everyone, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you. All right, it has been a long time since I last did a deck profile. The last one I did, I believe, was my Red Eyes deck, which is actually a pretty fun deck to this day to use. Um, but... We're going to be going with Gate Guardian. Now, this got new support in December, and it's actually a very viable deck now. Um, but we'll jump straight into the profiles. We're running three copies of Magician Souls. You can send up to two spell straps from your hand and all field to the graveyard, draw that many cards. If this card is in your hand, you can send one level six or higher spellcaster monster from your deck to the graveyard, then activate one of these effects. Special summon this card. The only one of these effects you're going to be able to activate is to special summon it. Um, because we can't activate its other effects, we don't have Dark Magician. So. But it also allows you for a little draw power, not to mention you can get another card in the field, and you can also um, send one level 6 or higher spellcaster monster free deck to the graveyard, which really helps this deck. Two copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Of course, everyone knows what Ash Blossom does. It's just a hand trap negate, so it's stupid fun to use. Uh, we're running two copies of Elemental Hero Prisma. So once per turn, you can reveal one fusion monster from your extra deck and send one of those fusion materials whose name is mentioned on the card from your deck to the graveyard. This card's name becomes the sent monsters to the end of the phase. So this allows you to get Sangha of the Thunder, Kaze Jin, or Sui Jin into the graveyard and also to make it become that name. So say, for example, if you showed off this, you could then have it become Sangha or Kaze Jin or Sui Jin. Really good card for this deck, actually. Three copies of Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth. You can discard this card, add one Labyrinth Wall card from your deck to your hand. At the start of the damage step, if your opponent's monster battles while you control a Labyrinth Wall card, you can banish this card from your graveyard, destroy that opponent's monster. You can only use each effect of Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth once per turn. So not only does it have a destruction effect, but you can also add a Labyrinth Wall card to your hand, which is extremely useful. Um... So two copies of Sangha of the Thunder once uh, while face up on the field during damage calculation in your opponent's turn. If this card is being attacked, quick effect, you can make that attack zero during damage calculation only. I believe this applies to all three of them. So we've got two copies of Kazu Jin and two copies of Sui Jin. Of course, they're the main Gate Guardian monsters of the deck. Uh, three copies of Labyrinth Heavy Tank. So you can normal summon this card without tributing. Cannot attack the turn it is normal summoned. During your main phase, you can place one of your Sangha of the Thunder, Kazi Jin or Sui Jin that is banished or in your hand or deck. Face up in the spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell. Then if you control a Labyrinth War card, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. You can only activate the effect of Labyrinth Heavy Tank once per turn. So this is great for basically getting out the Sangha, um, Sangha Kazi Jin or Sui Jin pieces that are in your deck. Um... It's also a level 7 monster, and it's an instant summon, which is very nice. Also for some plays later on, as you'll see. Uh, we're running one copy of Illusion of Chaos, so we're not ritual summoning this at all. We're just using it to be able to return this card to the hand if you do a special summon. No, 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 that's not that one. Um, Google card in your hand. And with Dark Magician and Ritual Monster, mention it from your deck to your hand, and then place one card on your hand at the top of the deck. It basically allows you to get this to your hand, which you can either use for draw power or for a summoning. Whichever one you prefer. Um, we're running one copy of Regeki. Of course, Regeki is a stupid, useful card. Destroy monsters, opponent controls. I took this over Lightning Storm because there's a lot of continuous cards in this deck, and Lightning Storm only works if your field is completely empty. So, one copy of Harpy's Feather Dust to destroy all spells and traps your opponent controls. Again, stupid, useful card. There's a reason why it's limited to one. Um, Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. So, banish one level seven monster from your hand or face up on the field. Draw two cards. You can only activate this card once per turn. Again, it's just draw power plus banishment for any of these three really does not hurt the deck at all. Plus, you've got these as well that you could use it on if you needed to. Um, we've got three copies of flu uh, fusion deployment. So reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck and special summon from your hand or deck. One of the fusion materials whose name is mentioned on that monster. Also, you cannot special summon for the extra deck except fusion monsters the turn you activate this card. You can activate one per turn. It just allows you to get one of these out. Um, so it's just easier for the deck. Stupid consistent card though. Um, two copies of Ryoku Guardian. If your life points are lower than your opponent's target, one monster you control will get Guardian in its original name. Half your opponent's life points, then that monster gains attack equal to your opponent's life points. You can banish this card from your graveyard, add one of your Sangha of the Thunder, Kazuya you know, Suijin, that is banished during your deck to your hand. So not only is it good for recycling, but you can also half your opponent's life points with this and have your Gate Guardian for that turn gain that attack. It's ridiculously good. I only run two of it, though, because it can be very inconsistent if you draw three, because you need a fusion monster on the field, so... 
Uh, three copies of Labyrinth Wall Shadow. This is the field spell for the deck, and it's an extremely useful card. Monsters cannot attack the turn they are summoned, except monsters whose original level is 5 or higher. Once per turn, during your main phase, you can place one of your Sangha of the Thunder cards in your Sujin that's banished or in your hand or deck, face up in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell. At the start of your opponent's battle phase, you can target one monster your opponent controls with less than 1600 attack to destroy it. So only does this have a destruction effect, which is stupid useful, but adding one of these into your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell card allows it to be used for the fusion plays. So don't worry about that. It will let you use it. <laughs> so it's stupid useful for that. Uh, one copy of Kashtira Birth. So this is a continuous spell for the Kashtira archetype, the only Kashtira card can run in the deck. You can normal summon level 7 monsters without tributing. This is the only effect on this card that you want because... Just being able to normal summon monsters without tributing is great. So you can literally just summon any of these for basically free. It's it's stupid nice. Uh, we're running three copies of Double Attack, Wind, and Thunder. If you control a Gate Guardian monster, target one card on the field, destroy it. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one of your Sangra of the Thunder cards in a sewage that is banished during your deck to your hand. You can only activate one per turn. Again, it allows you to search, not to mention you can also destroy a card on the field, and it can be any card you want. So it's good for like back row removal or field spell removal or whatever and finally for the main deck we're running three copies of prey of the jirai gumo special summon this card as normal monster insect earth level five attack 2100 defense 1000 uh, 100 to your main monster zone in the same column it's also still a trap card that you can throw one monster your opponent controls in this card's column you can banish this card from your graveyard of one of your monster cards of sewagen or saga of the thunder for your deck to your hand you can only use one per turn so again, it's a good search. It allows you to get these out. Um, not to mention you can destroy a monster, which is very nice. But it has to be in the same column. As for the extra deck, we're running two copies of Gate Guardian of Thunder and Wind. Um, so it requires Song of the Thunder and Kazijin. Must be special from your extra deck by banishing the above cards you control. During your main phase, you can add one spell or trap from your deck to your hand that mentions Sangha of the Thunder, Kazijin, and Zuijin. You can only use the effect of Gate Guardian of Thunder and Wind once per turn. If this face-up spe a special summon card leaves its opponent's control because of a card you can special summon one of your banished sangha of the thunder or Kazijin. so good powerful monster has a really good search effect and of course it allows you to special summon one of your banished um, sanghas or Kazijins once it goes uh we're running two copies of guardian of wind and water so it requires Kazijin and suijin must be must be special summoned from your extra deck by banishing the above cards you control once per chain when your opponent activates a spell um or trap effects on the field, quick effect, you can negate that effect. You can um, use the effect again once per, uh, win twice per turn. So you can do that twice every turn. If this space a special summon card in its control call leaves the battlefield because of an opponent's card, you can special summon one of your banished cards in your So only can you negate effects with this, but it also has 2450 attack, which is pretty decent, and you can search once it goes. Whew, gotta catch my breath. There's a lot of text on these cards. Um, so we're running uh, two copies of Guardian of Water and Thunder. So it requires Suijin and Sangha of the Thunder must be special summoned from your extra deck by banishing the above cards you control once per chain quick effect. You can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, change its attack to zero until the end of the turn. You can you only use the effect of this twice per turn. So again, this is another twice per turn effect. Uh, if this face-up special summon card leaves the field, you can because of an opponent's card, you can special summon one Suijin or Sangha of the Thunder. Again, very useful to have. It's, again, a searcher and a special summoner. Not to mention you can also make your opponent's attack zero, which is stupid helpful for defense. We're running three copies of Gate Guardians combined. This is a monstrous card. Sangha of the Thunder, Kazujin, and Suijin. Must be special summoned for your extra deck by banishing the above cards from your hand, field, and or graveyard. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card you control, quick effect, you can negate that effect if you do destroy that card. You can only use the effect of Gate Guardians... Um, combined thrice per turn so three times a turn you can negate like that is ridiculous <laughs> it's honestly such a solid card i've been having so much fun summoning this thing because with this deck it is super easy to summon and it is just fun to use um if this face up special summon card it's under control leaves the field because of opponent's card you can special summon one level 11 or lower gate guardian monster from your deck or extra deck ignoring its summoning conditions so once this goes by your opponent's card you can also then summon any of these <laughs> which is stupid nice 
Uh, we're running one copy of number 11, Big Eye. So it requests you level 7 monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, then target one monster, repair controls. Take control of that monster. This card cannot attack the town. The effect is activated. It basically, it's just a defensive card. You're allowed to take one of your opponent's monsters and use it for a beat stick. It's stupid easy to summon, requiring two level 7s, because any of these can be used for its summon. Two copies of Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragons requires, again, two level 7s. Cannot be destroyed by a card fixed by its material. While this card's material, each time your opponent activates card or effect, inflict 500 points of damage directly to your opponent. Uh, the other effect on this does not matter because we're not using Rally's Monsters. But it's a good burn card, not to mention it allows you to get rid of these if you need to. So it's stupid useful to have. Uh, and three copies of Nightmare Phoenix. So the reason I run this is because I've been running into a bit of an issue. Recently, I've been coming across a lot of Toon decks and... You know, without the right cards in place, it's difficult to get rid of Tomb, Tomb uh, Kingdom, especially if they've got Tomb Bookmark in the graveyard. So I've run this specifically for that, but it's also very useful for getting rid of Back Row because if this card is linked summoned, you can discard one card, target one spell, trap your opponent controls, destroy it. We're not worrying about the co-linked effect because you're not really going to be co-linking. Um, but it's stupid easy to summon with two monsters with different names, and there's a lot of different monsters in this deck. So again, not difficult to get out at all. But yeah, this is the deck. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Um, don't forget to support the channel further if you want to by becoming a channel member from as little as 90 down pence per month here in the UK. And don't forget, I do live stream. When I go live, I go live here on YouTube, over on Twitch, and on Kick, all at the same time. So if you want to watch my live streams here on YouTube, don't forget to turn on notifications. If you want to watch my streams on Twitch or on Kick, those links are down below. And don't forget to follow me on those. Thank you for watching today's video. You can hit the button on the right to subscribe to the channel. You can hit the button on the left to watch the previous video. Don't forget to like and comment on this video to help boost it in the algorithm. And don't forget you can also support me further by becoming a channel member. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next one.